What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here, and today we're going to talk about learning challenging songs. This is something that I've been thinking about quite a bit recently, because I'm myself, I'm working on two challenging songs at the moment that are at least challenging for me. And I think it's really interesting to set yourself up for new challenges because when you decide to try to learn a technique or a song or you name it, whatever, and it seems completely unachievable, so it's like too hard, too fast, it's fairly advanced, and maybe not like super complicated, like pro-level player, maybe you're just starting out and something rather simple seems very difficult for you, that is still challenging. So the I would say the level of the challenge adapts to where you are in your playing journey, so to say. But I've been practicing two challenging things for me. And I think it's really interesting that, you know, if you put the effort and the dedication and really make a process, a system to get to the end result, you can you will be very surprised at you know, what you can achieve. So I'm going to show you two clips of, of things that I'm working on at the moment. There are mistakes there. It's not perfect. It's kind of sloppy. But if I look back at how it was at the beginning and how it is now, it's like worlds apart. And I think you might be surprised about the first clip. So let's check that out. And then we're going to talk about this topic a bit more later. see I am playing uh, that, that's the guitar solo of Back in Black by ACDC. Um, I set myself the challenge that I wanted to learn a hard rock guitar solo and I really like that guitar solo. It is you know it has, it has some fast runs, had bends and it's definitely not a, like a super beginner guitar solo. But I wanted to learn it. I wanted to you know, be able to do guitar bands and play a hard rock solo. So I decided to try to learn that. And I had to learn a lot of little skills to be able to get to the point where I am now. Starting with bending the strings properly and knowing how to bend on the guitar. And let me tell you, that took quite a bit of time. And also, <laughs> it was fairly painful because bending guitar strings, you know, for minutes on end hurts and you do get different calluses than when you play bass. If you take a look at my finger here, it's kind of hard to focus, but there's like a, you see this little part, this from bending the guitar strings. So that was, for example, skill number one. Then once you get the mechanical movement of bending strings and you gotta bend to pitch and all those tiny little movements that happen on guitar are different than on bass, 
pulling off, doing hammer-ons, playing with the pick, it feels different. So it's a challenge to get, or, or it's been challenging to get to the point where I am playing it now. And it took a lot of discipline, really just breaking down phrases little by little, super slowly, and getting to feel comfortable with playing all those separate phrases and then putting the whole thing together. There are mistakes there, it's not perfect, it's, it's kind of sloppy, but I'm working on it and it's progressing, I can see that, and bending feels more comfortable now, uh, I can play faster, and I can get the entire solo in one run. Now, the other song that you heard is Holy Wars by Megadeth. That was one of my favorite bands and one of my favorite songs. Maybe it's not your, not your type of music, but I decided to take the challenge of playing it properly because I remember playing it when I was a teenager, but it was fairly sloppy. And I decided to learn it, you know, the way it should sound like. And I can play it pretty comfortably at like 95% of the speed of the song. What you heard is 100% and it is extremely fast. It's really, really fast, fast down picking, fast alternate picking, and your arm gets tired. So one of the reasons why I wanted to learn it, not just because I like the song, but also just to train my picking hand so that when I play normal songs, I don't get tired because if I can play that song completely, you know, I can get through pretty much all the other songs in the universe without <laughs> worrying too much. But like I said, there are mistakes. It's not clean. It's not perfect. But I started working on that at like super slow speed, you know, like 50%, 40% of the speed of the song and really focusing on getting all the notes clearly that I am relaxed, that everything sounding the way it should sound like and the timing and the groove is sitting on with the drums. Of course, once you start speeding up things, being able to keep up and the stamina become um, much more of a, let's say, focus, but it is interesting to, to see definitely the development, something that seemed like completely impossible to play and I, like, and I was like, I'm never going to be able to, to achieve that. Working it at, at it, you know, day by day, like five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe a day and practicing getting the thing, things right and being patient across a long period of time can get you some amazing results. So what I would like to do is to invite you guys to pick a song that seems fairly challenging for your playing level and just work on it for as long as it's necessary so you can play it. You know, those two clips that you saw, I've been working on that for weeks, maybe months, and I don't expect to be able to play them perfectly like tomorrow, you know. I hope that I get to make a cover of Holy Wars, the mega song, maybe in January before I leave for tour. Uh, but if I don't make it until then, well, I'm gonna keep working on it after the tour. Let me know in the comments which song would you like to learn. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.